What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be converting our gold wing door, which we just did a month ago. Uh, we're going to try to make an electronic gold wing door. So I will be posting these parts. There's only two parts. It cost me a total of like 78 bucks. I want to say this actuator. It's a uh, 330 pounder. I think that was like 45. And then uh, we got this linear controller, which hopefully is going to work. You know, comes with two remotes, up and down, momentary, so you gotta hold it, you don't have to worry about this thing overextending. And uh, I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna mount it, whether it's gonna work or not, I don't know, but we're gonna mess around with that. It does come with these nice brackets, with these little pins even. So, I'm gonna get this thing all wired up, um, make sure the remote and everything works, make sure we're good, and then uh, we're gonna go stick it on the van. So, let me, I don't really think I need much directions. I mean, positive, negative, positive, negative. We're gonna throw this shit together. Bear with me. All right, about five minutes into this project and we're ready to try it out. Now, I promise you I have not tried this actuator yet. I just hooked it up. I definitely would have, but I left the remotes inside the house with the GoPro. So, let's see if this works. No, nothing's working. Oh, ah, down. That's uh, kind of opposite of what I need, but that's all right. I'll get used to it. So we're going to extend this all the way, and that's going to show us where we want it to mount. Because we do not want to go up past this. So I'm pretty much just going to... I'm gonna try right here. I mean, hell, these brackets look like they're very close to uh, where I gotta be. Right. All right, extend on out. Yep, this is not the fastest uh, actuator in the world, but I guarantee it's one of the cheapest. That's it. We took the piston off and now we're just going to pull out this bracket, replace it with this one. It's really close. We're going to put the bracket like this because it's, it's going to be pushing that way and this has a little slide. So uh, we're going to take this off, see how close this is and circle right back. As you can see, we use the original holes for our goal wing. Uh, not ideal, but for test purposes, this will work for right now. So we got the bar hanging there. It almost attaches to where we were. So we're gonna figure out a way to mount this bracket somehow. Hell, maybe we'll just come right in. I don't know. I wanna work on something. I think I wanna bring this probably to around in, in there. So uh, let me brainstorm. All right, this was the simplest way for me to test this. Just grabbed a spare piece of metal. Drill two holes in, three tacks here, three tacks here, because I don't know if this is gonna work, so I'm not gonna hammer it home. So now we're gonna take this piece, once it cools down, and we're gonna self-tap it right into the van, right, you know, well, pretty much wherever this falls, right around there somewhere. This is an issue. Where it lands, it's pushing vertically, so it's not going to allow me to open it. So we're gonna rethink this. Okay, take two. So, as you can see, we made the bar, eh, I think like seven inches long. So, we're in about six inches now. We just kind of welded this piece right on here. Good to go. Good enough for mock-up purposes. We move this down. If this works, I'll give you guys all the measurements and the part numbers. So, let's, uh, let's get rid of this bar and give this a try. Let's see, pins are in. All right. All right, so she's self-sufficient. Just gotta be careful. Let me. All right, so far, so good. I'm worried about bottoming out though. 
What's that? I did throw some more tacks up there. Yeah, I uh, think we screwed ourselves here. Again. This is not going to work out well. Unless it pivots up somehow. Which I don't think it's gonna. Alright. Take three. Coming at ya. Okay. So we are getting close. Still got to figure out the angle so the door will open all by itself. But as it sits right now, if I just give it a little tug to start her up. You can see. She does what she's supposed to do. So what I did, and I just kind of slapped this together. That's why this only took me an hour. I kind of just piggybacked on my existing rail here. And yeah, I'll do something a little better. And then down here, I just, I did like a seven inch bar. I'll go through all the measurements when I'm completely done. Uh, yeah, I left the existing one on there, the existing piston. You know, first I wasn't gonna, but then I decided, hey, let me try it. So this is where we're at, and we'll close her up. Wait, there we go. Now we are charging the battery, because the battery is dead. This is just laying around, I didn't feel like running wires to my battery that's in here, or pulling it out. So this gets about three quarters of the way down and then it just closes on its own. So we got to figure out how to make it open on its own. So we're almost there. Boom. And then of course we can lock it and the back's locked and the front we have the clasp to lock that in place. All right, quick update. Much like my forward hood hinge design, I have come up with a better way to do this. So this is like a prototype. This is the first idea that came into my mind. I think I have a better one. So make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and we will be getting to that soon. Thanks for watching, guys. at one point in my bubble video I talked about using butyl tape yeah that's great as long as you never have to take it off this shit is an absolute mess use one of these scrapers and some heat got to the point where I was almost contemplating just yanking it off and blowing a new window good times